Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm filming another plan with me in my recollections vertical using this strawberry themed kit from my shop, which I love. It's so rare that you get to use the combination of pink and green outside of Christmas, so um, I really like how this kit turned out and I love how the spread turned out. I can't wait for y'all to see it. So here I'm just flipping through my sheets really quickly and then off to the side there you see I have a stack of script stickers. Right now I'm showing you my tool pin and fine point which I'm going to be using this week. And these scripts are really fun because they are a new addition to the shop. They actually went live on the day this video went live if you're watching it in real time. So I'm really excited about them. As you can see I have a wide variety. And that sleep in sheet has all the new fonts on it. There's five new fonts you can get custom scripts in for the shop so I wanted to show you all that. Okay, now I'm going to get started on planning my week, and this week is a little bit different than normal because I was on vacation towards the end of it, so you'll see some changes I made <laughs> in the spread. But to start off with, I did my full box on the side, followed by a this week header, and then below that I cut a weekly checklist just into Monday through Friday because I left for vacation on Saturday, so I didn't need the rest of the week. And I also left my sidebar blank because I decided to go back and fill it in with memories when I got home from vacation. So um, that will not be filled in on camera. So if, I'm sorry if anybody really wanted to see that. But anyway, now I'm doing the bottom washi. I used both strips. And after that, I'm going to put down my glitter headers. So if you watched my pink lemonade spread, I believe it was, I mentioned how I wished I had done the glitter headers one color per line. I've been really feeling like doing that recently. And I finally remembered to do it in this video, which made me really happy. So I put all the red ones on the, the top row, and then I used the two green, uh, green varieties of green to do the other two rows. And I think I picked the perfect ones. I didn't miss the pink glitter, I think, because I used pink on the bottom, so there was enough pink glitter in the spread. Anyway, I think this turned out really good. I, I'm so happy with it, and I think I might keep this up in the future. And usually when I do this, I will use the fourth color of glitter headers on the sidebar, but again, this week I did not need glitter headers on the sidebar. So, there we have it. Alright, now I'm going to do my date covers, and I am pulling date dots from a separate sheet from my shop. They don't come in my kits, but you can buy them in the shop if you're interested. And I had to pull from several different sheets that were partially empty, which is why I'm taking so long, and I did the dates, I did the numbers out of order. But eventually I got it done and here I am putting them down up top. I always like to leave just a hair of space in between the glitter header and the date cover. I think it just looks really nice and crisp like that. And now that I have my date covers done, it's time to stagger my full boxes. It was super easy to arrange these this week because there's so much white space in the boxes so there's really no way the spread could look crowded which is super nice. And I did choose to do a zigzag across both pages. Alright, as I said, I'm not doing my sidebar this week, so I'm skipping right to planning Monday. And the first thing I'm going to mark is my morning workout. So I'm taking a skinny pink label that came with the kit, along with a green shoe sticker that is from my shop to mark my workout. Next, I'm going to start marking things for work. So I'm going to take one of the new script stickers I showed earlier, along with a girl sticker from Happy Daya to mark filling orders. And then below that, I'm going to put a salad sticker from Happy Daya and mark that I had a buffalo chicken salad for lunch, which was very delicious. After work, I needed to go get some groceries, so I'm taking another script from my shop and a groceries Winston to mark that on top of a dark green label. And when I got home, I had a package from Stick With The Plan Co., which was so exciting. I've already hauled that on my channel if you're interested. The Happy Meal Winston is from my shop. And then below that, I put down a book sticker from the Prairie Planner. That was to mark that I wanted to finish reading Dune. Moving on to Tuesday, I put down this whole green checklist from my shop. You're going to see I'm going to trim it up in a second here. But I'm writing down a bunch of stuff I needed to do for work. Um, I, I decided I wanted to rewrite how I wrote order keychains. I thought it just looked not the best. So I took up the checklist and trimmed off the first circle. But then I couldn't cut it straight, so I had to peel it up and re-trim it, but finally I got it done. And here I'm just putting down a pink little thing to mark that I wanted to order keychains. And now we're moving down to the second half of the day under that adorable full box with the strawberry parfaits, I guess they are. They look so yummy. And after work, I wanted to go to the pool, so I used a tanning Winston from my shop. 
And then I ate some peanut butter and jelly rice cakes, which I've been obsessed with lately. That peanut butter sticker is from my shop. And as you can see, I had to very unfortunately abbreviate butter. Um, probably could have planned that a little bit better uh, in retrospect, but it's okay. <laughs> At the very end of the day, I took the reading tracker from the kit to mark starting a new book. Those reading trackers are also available in my shop if you're interested. Alright, on Wednesday, as usual, I did not want to write next to the coil, so the first thing I did was mark making some strawberry jam on a half box, and the girl sticker, the she's cooking type of girl, she is from Stick With The Plan Co. Above that, I put another skinny label. This one is red, and I put a red computer sticker from Planner-esque to mark working on a printable. And I did mark my workout again on the very top. All right, then I wanted to organize the kitchen cabinet, so I marked that with a green quarter box and a cleaning Winston. And after that, I decided to go to the pool, so I used one of our new adorable swimming Winstons and a flag from the kit to mark that. I think it turned out really cute. And then I had a little bit of space left at the bottom, so I'm taking this long flag from the kit and another book from the Prairie Planner, along with another read custom from my shop to fill up the rest of the day. Now, on to the second half of the week. On Saturday morning, I had to get up earlier to get, I was going to have to get up early to catch a flight, and I wanted to kind of train myself to get ready for that, so I got up early on Thursday and Friday. I just marked getting up early on Thursday with a clock Winston from my shop. Then I marked my morning workout. I'm not sure where that weight sticker is from. I had it in my leftovers binder. Then I edited and uploaded a video. That edit and upload sticker is a script from my shop, and then the computer is from Planner-esque. After that, I wanted to iron some clothes, so I put that on a little thing with a sweater icon that comes with the kit. In the evening, I wanted to do some laundry. That laundry sticker is from Happy Daya, and that script font that I used right there is my absolute favorite one from the new five fonts. Below that, I wanted to mark making some mashed potatoes, so I put a pink two-tone label along with a cooking girl from Happy Daya to mark that. And then I put down another book sticker from the Prairie Planner to mark finishing the Strawberry Shortcake Murder, which was the book I was reading at the time. On to Friday, I marked getting up early the exact same way as Thursday, just with a little Winston peeking out from behind the clock. And I also needed to check in for my flight, so I used a thumbs up sticker from the kit to mark that. And then I kind of took Friday off, well not kind of, I took Friday off of work since it was right before vacation and I had some chores to get done. For example, laundry. That laundry character is from Peaceful Mind, or PMD stickers. I also changed my sheets. That sticker is from Happy Daya. Next, I'm taking a Zaxby's Winston, uh, one of our little fast food stickers, and marking that I had Zaxby's for lunch. I'm not a huge fan of Zaxby's, but I was with my mom this day, and she wanted to get Zaxby's, so there you have it. After lunch, I wanted to go return my library book, so I used this Winston from our new Winston Emojis 3.0 sheet. It doesn't, I don't know why, but it reminds me of a library, I guess because he has glasses on, and I think he's so cute, so I've been looking for an excuse to use him anyway, and this was just the perfect one. And then I needed to remember to take the trash out, so I put that on a flag with a recycling Winston from my shop. Alright, on Saturday I am marking my two flights I had with the flight Winston stickers from my shop. And then I needed to pick up my rental car, so I'm writing that down. The car sticker is from Planner-esque. And after that I went to get some groceries because I don't love to eat out all the time on vacation. Just, I don't know, it makes me feel bad, so I usually like to eat breakfast at lunch at home and then... I'll go out for dinner, so I went and got some groceries. The house I was renting for vacation had a private pool, which was so amazing. <laughs> it was so relaxing. So I went and did some swimming after the grocery store. That swimming girl is from Stick With The Plan Co. I also got Culver's for dinner that night and ate it on my patio. And finally, um, I'm taking that headphones with music sticker from my shop to mark that I uh, listen to music in the shower because the house that I rented had a... Um, the whole whole house had a Bluetooth system, which was amazing. All right, now on Sunday, I'm going to mark sleeping in finally after getting up at 4 a.m. for several days. <laughs> so I paired that with a custom script from my shop and a sleeping panda from Happy Daya. 
I went to the beach in the morning and it ended up raining, so I marked that with a rain sticker from Happy Daya. The book sticker right underneath that is also from Happy Daya. And then I marked taking a nap on the couch with a Winston from my shop. After the rain stopped, I went to the pool. I marked that with a Grin and Bear It berry sticker on his little flamingo float, which is so adorable. Especially perfect because I actually did have a flamingo float. And at the end right here, I'm marking watching some TV. I watched Taken, and I also watched Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, which is like totally my guilty pleasure show. And I also used a takeout Winston to mark where we got dinner. All right, here I am fill filling up the sidebar, sort of. I put down some half boxes to mark highlights from the week, from my vacation. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the spread. As I said, I love how it turned out, and I hope you enjoyed seeing me put it together. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Bye!